Well, the Colts have selected Alec Pierce. Obviously, he fits all the stereotypes of a white athlete. Only he isn't sneaky athletic. This dude runs a 4440. I know I just bashed. I just want to kind of give you a picture of how explosive this guy is off the line. His release is pretty nice, and his um, his route running skills are enhanced because he has field speed. He has actual field speed. He's not just a 40-yard dash kind of guy. So he's not sneaky athletic like most white athletes are. He just flat out is athletic. Um, and his hands aren't the flashiest, but they are like, you know, they were comparing him on on the on the TV that he's like a Jordy Nelson or a Cooper Cup. His hands aren't spectacular, but he doesn't need to have these spectacular catches because he uses the route running to get wide open. So all he has to do is just catch the ball like this because he's wide open because he gets open, which I'd rather have that than someone who makes spectacular catches all the time because getting open, making a solid fundamental catch and stuff like that is what helps you win games. And, um... Alec Pierce, he's a solid football player. I definitely think stick stick him in the slot, put Michael Pittman Jr. at X. Um, rotational receivers, uh, Paris Campbell, Ashton Doolin, Mike Strawn, any of those kind of guys. Uh, T.Y. Hilton, put those guys in the rotation. Just fire them off. It's going to look pretty good. Um, so I'm rating this, this draft pick a B+. Plus. See you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny, and I like this draft pick. Let's see who we get with our two other third-round picks. Got unlucky with on a few plays tonight. You know, one of those one of those plays. I thought he was standing still, but he just hit the shit out of that one guy, and the guy went flying. They blew the whistle, and they called it on him.